Hey everyone, today, we present an in-depth exploration of our solar system's central star, the Sun. We will examine its intricate structure, and discuss the stellar evolution it undergoes throughout its life cycle. Our solar system is a gravitationally bound system, comprising of eight planets, their respective moons, and a number of smaller bodies, including comets and asteroids. The Sun resides at the center. It is the primary source of energy, that sustains life on Earth. And guess what? The Sun constitutes 99.86% of the solar system's total mass. That means, everything else combined is just a tiny fraction. Alright, let's get into the Sun's structure, beginning with its core. The core is the innermost region where nuclear fusion occurs. Here, hydrogen atoms fuse together to form helium, releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation, including light and heat. This energy generation is fundamental to the sun's brightness, and its role as the solar system's powerhouse. Surrounding the core is the radiative zone. Energy from the core travels through this zone, in the form of electromagnetic radiation, or light. The energy transfer is a slow process. Photons can be absorbed, and re-emitted numerous times, resulting in timescales of millions of years for energy, to travel through this zone. Above the radiative zone lies the convective zone. Here, heat transfer occurs through convection. Hot plasma, which is ionized gas, rises from the inner layers towards the sun's surface, cools, and then sinks back down, creating these huge convection currents. This convective motion is a crucial mechanism for energy redistribution within the sun. The outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere is the corona. The corona is incredibly hot, reaching millions of degrees. It is the source of the solar wind, which is a continuous outflow of charged particles, that flows throughout the entire solar system. This solar wind interacts with the magnetic fields of planets, including our own Earth. In addition to the steady solar wind, sometimes, the Sun releases a massive burst of solar wind called a coronal mass ejection, or CME. A CME is a substantial expulsion of plasma and magnetic field from the solar corona. These events can propagate through interplanetary space. If a strong enough CME heads towards Earth, it can disrupt our planet's magnetosphere, potentially affecting technology and communications. Let's not forget about solar radiation. This is the energy emitted by the Sun in the form of light, heat, and other electromagnetic radiation. It is essential for life on Earth. It warms our planet, drives our weather patterns, and provides the energy for plants to grow through photosynthesis. Turning to the Sun's life cycle, we begin with its origin in a nebula. The Sun's life began about 4.6 billion years ago in a nebula, a giant cloud of gas and dust. This nebula was mainly composed of hydrogen, which would become the Sun's fuel. Gravity caused the gas and dust to contract. As the cloud contracted, it heated up, leading to the formation of a protostar. During the protostar phase, the Sun was not yet in hydrostatic equilibrium, and nuclear fusion was not yet initiated. Eventually, the core became hot and dense enough to ignite nuclear fusion, and the Sun entered its main sequence phase. The Sun is currently in its main sequence phase. This is the longest and most stable phase of a star's life, characterized by the sustained fusion of hydrogen into helium in the core. The Sun has been in this phase for approximately 4.6 billion years, and is expected to remain so for another 5 billion years. As the Sun exhausts the hydrogen fuel in its core, it will evolve into a red giant. This expansion will occur in approximately 5 billion years. After the red giant phase, the Sun will start fusing helium into heavier elements like carbon. Once the helium is exhausted, the Sun will shed its outer layers, creating a beautiful structure called a planetary nebula. Unlike more massive stars, the Sun doesn't have enough mass to become a neutron star or a black hole. Instead, it will eventually become a white dwarf, which is the hot, dense core of the Sun that's left behind. And that's the incredible story of our Sun, from its fiery core to its dynamic life cycle. I hope you enjoyed this solar adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more amazing space content.